hi guys welcome to my channel this is inky culture and this is where i share lots of sewing tutorials and diys this is one of my diy please feel free to subscribe because this is a way you can encourage us to do more so subscribe like and also share my videos so today let's move on to what i have for you today today i want to make this lovely airband so this airband will have a base so the base on the base i'm going to make ruffles on the base as you can see the lovely ruffles i made on the base so you can make any type of design on any base like this you can see this type of ruffles it's on a base you can see the type of rose this is a rose on a base this is a lovely rose also that is being compacted together this is uh, like a bow you can make it on a base and this is a lovely bow too you can make it on a base so with this method you are going to have you the first thing you need is your hairband so you need your hairband because it's it is your base your hairband is your base you need your glue or your gum and uh, i'm using this type of glue that you can you can use on fabric and it won't be, it won't make the fabric to be hard like normal glue so i'm using i need a needle i need thread and i need the fabric so the type of fabric i'm using here is uh, damask we call it damask in nigeria so you can use and also you need a cardboard you need a cardboard so this is like a used box i cut out from a used from a, um, a, a box that i have emptied so your yeah, that um, cardboard will be wrapped around the band so you can see the next thing to do is to take your measurement just measure your air band measure your plastic you can use plastic air band you can use metallic air band measure it whatever measurement you have there add one inch to it to be to cut out your cardboard in this way cut out your cardboard in this manner so this is how i will wrap it around the hair band this is how it will go so after this the next thing to do is to get the material that i want to use for the ruffles uh, I, I need before the before before i get the material i want to use for the ruffles this is just like an example i want to make this as an example it will be like a boat like you can see the picture of a boat that i just showed you you be like a boat then the wider place will be as wide as maybe five inches so then make sure the length is as long as 30 inches so that is what you are going to use for your ruffles the ruffles that will be on the base then you need to cut two pieces of it so that you'll be able to tack it you'll be able to sew it round place the right side on the right side like this and sew it round on your machine or you can use your hand needle and also you, it's not compulsory you use machine in this case you can use your hand needle sew it round then create an opening here where you will turn it to the right side so i will show you how i do that when i get to that part so this will be wrapped around the cardboard the cardboard the fabric will be wrapped around the cardboard so you need to create allowance of half half inch on the round the 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 cardboard create an allowance of half inch so this is the material i'm going to use for the ruffles so i have after sewing it i'm going to bring it out from the opening i created here so i'm trying to bring it out to the right side so make sure you hang on stay and interfacing we call it interfacing and you can call it stay in nigeria so you pull it out the reason why i put stay is to give it a support so the next thing to do is to pull it out to the right side turn it to the right side then go ahead and press it and that opening from which you pull it out you can go ahead and secure it so you can go ahead and secure this opening so after you have done that the next thing to do is to i want to show you how i cut the base you know i just show you the base but i didn't show you how i cut the base so this is how what i did how i cut the base measure three inches 
the width is 3 inches, then divide that 3 inches into 3, like 1 inch, 1, one inch. Then, on the other side too, measure that 3 inches also, divide it into 3. So, after you have divided it into 3, this cardboard is on fold. Then, connect the points like so. Remember, the cardboard is on fold. So, I'm connecting it to the part that is on fold. So, connect like so. Then, connect this part also like this. Then, after you have connected it, it must be, the, the measurement, the length must be the length of your hairband. Remember? So, cut it out. Then, you can do, you can, you can trim it to the sides. After you have cut it out, if it is too wide, you trim it. So, that's how I arrived at the base. Uh, so, the next thing to do is to gum the fabric on the base. Gum the fabric on the cardboard. So, I'm going to put the gum. So, I'm going to put the gum like so. Then, gum it on the um, cardboard. So, that is what I'm doing right away. Put enough gum to be able to do it neatly. And right now I can fold it up, wrap the fabric around the cardboard. So I'm going to wrap the fabric around the cardboard like so. So wrap it, wrap it up carefully. Put enough gum that can wrap it up carefully. So, I can wrap this end up also with gum, but if it's not gummy, you can tack it with your thread. Maybe you, it's better you tack it so that it will be neat and it will be carefully secured. So, I'm doing the tacking with my thread. So, the next thing to do is to wrap up the hairband with the base. Wrap it up like so. You can see. So, the next thing, I, I just want to, I'm just showing you how it will be wrapped up. I'm not, I'm not wrapping it up yet. I need to place my ruffles. I need to tack my, the ruffles, the fabric I want to use for the ruffles on the base before I do the gumming. So, I will do the tacking carefully. So, I'm going to do it carefully. So, this is the way the tacking will look like. You will do it carefully. Then, I have the design that I want to do on my head. Just be checking the design and that will be a guide for whatever you want to achieve. Be checking the design and um, let it be a guide for whatever you want to achieve. So the design, the design I need to do, I showed you in the beginning of this uh, video. So I have it on my head already. So I'm trying to figure it out how it will be. So just do your tacking. It's not something. It's something like just like you are, just like you are playing with it. And at the end of the day, you like what what the result will be. So I'm doing the tacking in such like 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 I'm gathering it. Just gather it, gather the pleats like so. Gather the pleats, then use your thread to bring the pleats together. Pass your needle through the pleat, the small small pleat. Plus pass your needle through it and use it to gather it. That's what I'm doing. Just like I'm. I'm gathering the ruffles and after gathering it, I will tack it down on the uh, on the base. So the next thing we are we are almost through with this. So we are almost at the end of the base. So I will do that carefully. I'll make sure it matches with the other hand. 
make sure it matches with the other hand then finish it up like so if you like our video don't hesitate to subscribe like and share this video thank you so it's almost ready so i noticed one thing i there is no the ruffles is not well placed on the upper part so i needed to gather the upper part also to make the ruffles to form on the upper part too and that is why i'm passing thread on the upper part also to gather the upper part to make some ruffles on the upper part so that is what i'm doing to give the upper part a nice shape so after I have done that, you can see it's it's better like this. Anywhere that is not nicely done, you can go back there and then um, do it again or retack it. So cut out thread that are dangling, cut out excesses, then. I think we are we are we are almost done with this. The next thing is to go and place it on the hair band. To go and place it on the hair band. We call it Alice band here. You can get it in the market, you can get it where they sell hair accessories. Then put your gum. This gum also you can get it where they sell uh, fabrics, where they sell sewing materials, you can get it where they sell carpentry materials. So Apply your gum like so. Apply it on your hairband and also apply it on your base. Apply it on the base that will stay on this hairband. Then, after you have applied it, you can now wrap it up on it. But before, the reason why it will not, it will not gum now because I needed to allow it to stay for like 10 minutes. The gum must stay for like 10 minutes and that is when it will be able to glue properly so that air will have entered it and it will be able to glue so but this is how i'm going to wrap it up on it i will show you the result by the time i wrap it up so this is how it will be i'll wait for like 10 minutes to allow the gum to be thick enough to be able to hold the airband on the base so right now this is the result so you can see it is very beautiful you can use this on corporate wares you can use it on um, native wares it's very lovely and this type of airband you can use this method for all of those airband i show you from the beginning of this video just get your base and make whatever design you needed to make on your base and you're good to go so this is how the airband look like after this is the inner and we have come to the end of the video please subscribe like and share this video and our online classes are still on if you're interested you can contact us through the number on the screen or you contact us through the numbers in the description box see you in my next video bye